Lean Left, Lean Right podcast where spirited debates and open discussions reign supreme. Join hosts Rudy and Shamaya as they fearlessly tackle the most pressing topics in politics and beyond, seeking common ground without sacrificing their passionate perspectives. Hey, what's up, y'all? It is that time again, and man, can you believe it, Rudy? Uh, the big Tuesday is here. It's, well, it's not here. It's almost here. We got Monday tomorrow, and then uh, I think a lot of people might get off work early uh, on Tuesday, man. Yeah, you know, is it Super Tuesday? Is that what they call it? I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Something like Something that. Like yeah, that. Tuesday's here. So I look at it as, you know, Tuesday's going to get here. We're going to get our official president somewhat because rumor has it that whoever wins, the other person's going to sue him. Or rumor has it that some states have already come out and said they're not going to have the ballot counting done for a week, maybe two weeks. So we can already see the delay and everything, man. Yeah, and just to make things a little lighthearted, we're going to have some comedy in this uh, episode. <laughs> so let's start off first because people just had some fun with uh, Halloween. I'm too old for trick-or-treating, but uh, let's just check this one out with Melo. They got him good with the clown. So basically, yeah, that was a mixture of surprise, yeah, kind of mad, and three, just hilarious. Uh, are you scared of clowns? Because I don't like clowns, man. Truthfully, I'm not scared of clowns. I know a bunch of people that are terrified. When I say terrified, I, I mean, they're terrified is probably putting it the nice way. They are just extremely scared of clowns, and I don't. I mean, to me, clowns are creepy but i've always associated them with the circus and funny and fun i mean this is going to age me out i used to watch the uh the bozo show with cookie and wizzo they were all clowns so i grew up with clowns man you know regular clowns and clowns in my family so I, i'm i'm used to it now if i see a clown like the one that uh, Mel saw <laughs> i don't know i'll probably be uh slapping that uh clown too man but uh <laughs> that's that's Gotta be like something that needs to be a regular thing, man, for these uh social videos on these NBA teams because just getting these players to kind of like just you know decompress a little bit from the stress and stuff, trying to be too serious before a game or after a game. I yeah. think that's that's a good way to just keep things light, man. Because you know there's a lot of stuff going on in this world and a lot of stuff going to election, and sometimes you just gotta laugh, man. Always, man. You got to laugh at something. Uh, the world is too serious to not just sit back and relax and laugh a couple of times. We all need to have a laugh at one point. Now, I might get some racks at me for this one, but I thought this was pretty funny <laughs> with Harris. Let's check this one out. And this... Former president... <laughs> wow. I know I won't I make a lot of people mad, but that's okay, mm -hmm. man. We're just trying to have some fun here. I mean, yeah. you know they be want to be mm -hmm. saying some things outside of what they really can't say on TV, man. I, you know, you can feel it. You can cut it, cut it like a knife, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm excited for Tuesday because we'll stop all the name calling. We'll stop all... The negative stuff on both on both parties. It, to me, I just can't wait for I can't wait for the political ad to stop. I can't wait to not get the text messages on my phone. Hey, this congressman or you know President Trump needs your help, and I hate all that propaganda BS, man. To me, it's like just let it go. So finally, Tuesday is going to be here, Shamaya. Hopefully, it's all over. We don't get any more propaganda for another four years. We don't get all these. You know, name calling things, but you're right. You you can tell it on their faces. Trump says what he wants to say. Kamala, she says a little bit of what she wants to say. She does hold back, you can tell. But at the end of the day, you know what? We're gonna wake up Wednesday morning. You're going to work. I'm going to work, no matter who president is. And we're just gonna continue life the way it is, man. 
So I got two more videos. I have one, Brett, and you said work, and it's a work meme uh, <laughs> uh, humor on TikTok. I'm going to play to close us out, but this is from Brett. And by the way, only reason why I wanted to play this video because I had to back up my lines, but here we go. <laughs> That's a good one. Team we would. I play golf with him. He's damn good in golf. Three, two, one. Much better in golf. <laughs> <laughs> Great time in Wisconsin. Brett Favre, the phenomenal football player, endorsed me. It was an honor. And uh, TikTok, we love you. <laughs> now, is your windshield cracked yet? Is is people throwing Probably. boulders at you? <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's gone. Mine's just completely shattered. But uh, I played a bit because, like I said, this is what we try to do. We just try to have some fun with this uh, whole, you know issue because and when i say issue i just mean like people make it an issue like mm -hmm. if you vote for a certain person it's like oh how dare you but on this show it's a free space uh i mean safe space for you to have uh your ability to exercise your right to make your decision your own decision without anybody else's influence so in wrapping this whole uh session up rudy What's your closing thoughts on just how you see this country hopefully get past this election and just get back to, you know, the daily grind? Well, first seeing that video, I didn't know with Brett Favre and Trump and the vest. I, I, mean, I don't know if he was one of the line judges for an NFL game, you know, putting all he was missing was the first down marker and stuff like that. The chain, he's part of the chain gang. That's what they call it. The chain gang in the NFL. But you're you're right, man. I mean, it's it, it's coming to a close. It's coming to an end. We've brought a safe space for everybody to, you know, dive into politics. I don't know a lot about politics. You and I both we discuss things off camera. Uh, we keep it pretty chill on camera. But even just to go in a little discussion, you and I off camera, we keep really? our conversation pretty chill, and we both may not agree. But what I love at the end of the day is that we talk about what we don't agree with. And at, at the end of that conversation, if you change your mind, great. If you don't, great. If I change my mind, great. If I don't, no worries. You know, we're still texting. We're still buddies. We're still family at the end of the day. So that's what it comes down to is the fact that we bring a, sp a safe space. And it's not going to end here. I mean, just because the uh, election is going to be over Tuesday, but then it's going to be over three months from then because they're going to still be counting all the little votes that are going to be coming in after the fact, you know, lean left, lean right, still going to go on. We're still going to talk about political issues. We're going to talk about uh, everybody loved the sovereign citizen issue. We, we got more sovereign citizen videos coming out. Uh, there's just a lot to talk about. Probably have some more guests as well, but you know, it's a, uh, it, it, it's a long grind, man. I, I think, you know, whoever I voted for, which I did vote, Whoever I did early voting, um, whoever I voted for, I will say this. I didn't vote for Harris. I didn't vote for Trump. My vote was for the party. And whatever party I respectively voted for, that's who I voted for. Because honestly, for both presidents, I don't believe in both presidents. I understand, you know, he's got all of this stuff behind him. I understand with her, she's had the past four years to fix stuff. But I look at the party, man, which party below them, which cabinet below them, which, you know, uh, officers, executives that are going to be below them are going to be able to help run the country because that's who I feel is going to run the country. So my vote was cast for a political party. But yeah, man, I mean, th this was a fun, good few weeks here. I can't wait to continue on. Are you ready for it to be over like election wise? Oh, yeah. Like, I want this show to go forever, but I don't want the election uh, ads to go on forever. I mean, they get you all depressed, too. Like, <laughs> you just look at both sides. It's like, wow. Like, I almost want to go back and see if I can change my vote. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I feel the burn going on right now. But no, like, on a serious note, uh, I think we're going to get creative with this show. Uh, I think we just maybe just talk about some hot things going on in the news. 
like every yeah. week and just oh, kind of yeah. reaction to what's going on. And it can be like, okay, we're not necessarily worried about left and right, but we're more so like just America, right? We're just Americans. And uh, I'm just a guy that wants to learn more, right? Just like mm-hmm. you, what you say about you just being, I say you're the smart uh, observer, all right? Because uh, that's what we need more of and versus like this quote, like, I got to be right and you got to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a and conversation, this, man. And there's cults on both sides. All right. I'm just being real. Yeah. There's, there's extreme on both sides. And yeah. I know I said what I said last week. You don't know who I voted for you. You know, I voted for Harris. Um, <laughs> and, and uh, Rudy doesn't have to disclose who he voted for, but that doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we still doing great stuff. We doing things outside of the show, like sweep the league. You know, we doing sports. We doing things that's going to get people excited, and mm-hmm. that's what we are. And that's that's the way it should be. Like, and you said work. I got to play this one video before we close. Yeah. This is the video I want people to realize. If you can relate to this, this might be the video you want to play on Tuesday. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't read that fast, basically it's like if you feel like you're the one that uh does all the assignments, you know, you wear all these different hats. Hey, if you go late because you had to place your vote on Tuesday, man, play that video as your theme because I'm telling you, no matter who you go for, uh just consider that your voice is important and it doesn't matter if you go that way mm-hmm. or, or that way. Just practice your right to do it because whoever wins is what it is, man. Just got to deal with it and move on. But hopefully yeah. people can just have some more laughs and uh, just enjoy life a little bit more versus all this toxic, crazy stuff that we get to see on the news every four years. Yeah, you. I, I think you're right. Just walking in Wednesday, doing your your civic duty, you know, voting and getting into work late Wednesday, it, you know, luckily I work at an office that was pretty chill and stuff. So I can walk in late if I have to, I'm not planning to, <laughs> I got to be in the office early, but I'm planning not to. The, the thing that I really want to close out for this episode, being a short episode, Tuesday's coming, it's going to be election day. We're going to see who our, our president's going to be, but I want to ask you, and then I can answer it as well. If if Trump wins, what do you want? What are you hoping changes? If Harris wins, what are you hoping changes? Ooh, I'm gonna make so many people mad with this. Oh, it's, I it's, I, I want to have a flashback from 2016 early, mm-hmm. right? Because uh, the first year I was excited. Like, I was like, okay, let's do this. Beating the odds. Everybody wants you out. And and now you, you're not just beating the odds, but you're actually running the, the country. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I know. I feel it hit my face right now. Well, I don't care. But that's why I would hope because there is excitement. And I would just say, my personal opinion, when things start to get really shaky, that was just tough. So hopefully, if it goes that way, Maybe he can surprise everybody and, you know, just win on all these different goals that he might have. Yeah. Might have, Because that will probably um, get people more quiet and say, well, geez, if it's not that bad, then I can't really say anything. So if that's the case, hopefully everything that he has goal-wise to better people's lives and stuff, hopefully he hits home runs. And that's coming from someone who didn't go. So – uh that's that's my take on that yeah you know for me i'll say this if trump wins i what i really want now for clarification a president doesn't have as they have all the power but they don't have as much power as i feel people feel they have on the on the abortion subject i've mentioned it before you know a president can only do so much they can't put in a you know, according to the the reader and, and the research that I've done, they can't put a ban, a national ban on it. From what I've understood and I've underread, they can, you know, 
make laws, they can do all this stuff, but they can't put a national ban on it. So the president has power, but I don't think they have a lot of power. When it comes to groceries and stuff, it's so hard for a lot of presidents to do certain things. The stuff you hear, you know, the economy, I want to be able to afford groceries again. Uh, you go to the abortion stuff. You go to a lot of different things, even the border. I think the border issue is probably not so much cut and dry, Shemaya, but I think it's not easy to control, obviously. But you kind of have a pinpoint of what you can attack. And, you know, if you're here legally, good. If you're here illegally, I don't feel like they're going to just start pushing people out. Now, the bad people, I mean, yeah, either president wins. I would hope you'd get the bad ones out. But I feel the people that are here working, even if they're illegal, they're working, they're doing, they're living the right life. I feel either president is going to give them the opportunity to get citizenship, but you got to do it the right way. So if President Trump wins, the biggest thing I want to see is allow the, the people that are here to continue to be here, but go the process of getting legal and be vetted. I mean, if you're in here in America and you're a drug dealer and stuff, yeah, you're working at Toyota and you're making a great living, but deep down you've had past and drugs and all that stuff. Then I can say, okay, you got to do a little bit more to work to be a citizen. We got to go through background checks, all that stuff. The border part is where I really feel that I, I think with President Trump, I really want him to concentrate on. For Harris, it's almost the exact same thing. I, I want to see her, you know, she was the border czar from what they're saying. I want to see her do the exact same thing. Control the immigration issue. There's other countries that don't allow people to just come in illegally. In fact, I think every country is like that. They got to get vetted in some way. We just can't have an open policy and an open border door like that. So either president winning, I want to see that. But both of them, I want them to do the absolute best job that they can do at the end of the day, man, because the country's divided. We didn't know how divided it was until the past few elections. We've seen the big divided. It just keeps getting divided and divided, divided. I would love for it to just have a country where we're pretty much, you know, a country again. I, I don't like the division and it's never going to change. We're always going to be divided. But at the end of the day, I just want us to go back to being, you know, the land of the free and the home of the brave and just a country where, you know, we are probably the most powerful country in the world. And we did what we used to do. We stood on everybody. We stood in front of people. We, you know, like uh, there was a movie, I think the newsroom is what it was called. You know, we pounded our chest. We, we didn't get scared when it came to things. We took care of each other. That's where I feel as a country we need to go back to is being united as one and not divided. Yeah. And to answer the question real quick for Harris, uh, I'm hoping that she can prove that she can lead. And I'm hoping that she can prove that she wants to truly unite everybody in the country and do it in a way where people will actually uh, find ways to respect her effort. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm hoping she does because this is a big thing. This is not like you're the principal of the, uh, a high school or something like that. This is like this is massive. This is a big, big uh, job. It's, it's not a small detail like we just going to wing it. So I'm hoping that uh, she'll be successful in her vision, how she wants this country to to be not just strong, but to show that everybody can contribute in their own unique way. Yeah. And if she can do that, that'd be great. And last thing I'll say, if, if, if Trump wins, I hope it's the same thing. I hope he can uh, show that this country is diverse and strong and that we have the potential to do great things. So you flip the coin is what it is. That's my mindset. I know a lot of people are really bent on a certain side and that's fine. That's their choice. But my personal choice is uh, if Harris wins, great. If Trump wins, well, equally great because at the end of the day we are red white and blue and that's all i care about and yeah. i'm still independent i've never been a guy that's uh heavy on republican or democrat i'll always be independent because i think independent people are allowed to think outside the box and they're able to say 
I like this from the uh, Republican side. I like this from the Democrat side. Let's kind of blend that together and see the greatness we can make as a team versus uh, I'm going to be extreme on this side because the other side is the enemy. Well, guess what? They're saying the same thing. Like we literally saying the same thing when we disagree with each other. We're just taking turns our different pain points. But uh, that's my take, man, that if Trump wins, my prayers will be with him. Yeah, I know people hate that, and that's okay because you need some help. You need to look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Um, if Harris wins, yes, I voted for her, but I hope she will uh, do great as well. But we'll see. But at the end of the day, we're Americans. I will not hate Harris or Trump because that's not the American way. Yeah, I agree, man. You know, it's not the American way, and we need to we need to be more we need to more be more sound from each other. And don't be hating people because of your political differences are there. Who cares? You got to work together at the end of the day. You have to live with each other at the end of the day. And you know, at at the end of the day, Shamaya, you and I are both religious guys. And no matter who's in office, you still got to follow the golden rule that we always learned, whether it be in religion or in school when we were kids, and that's do unto others as you would have done undone or done to you. And that's the same thing. You want to be treated respect, respect other people. If you have differences, learn about the differences. Understand the differences you have with each other. Talk about it. If you still don't agree, it's okay. Crack open an ice cold Bud Light, Mister Disagreeers. Because at the end of the day, you're still friends, still family, and it's okay to disagree on just about everything. Not everybody's going to agree with you, but it's okay to disagree. It's not okay to lose family, to lose friends, to lose relationships over it. So, yeah, I hope I'm just glad Tuesday's going to be here before we know it, man. And people will definitely disagree with this, but as we close, I will leave you with this thought uh, that video we played last week with jd vance basically saying at the end of the day we're still americans Mm -hmm. uh there you go there you go that will be something i agree with 1000 percent. at the end of the day we are still americans and you know it's like right now i'm about to get ready to watch this uh game with green bay and uh lions and i'm telling you i'm going to dislike green bay with full passion but after the game hey i'm still a fan of football and i'm not going to disrespect green bay but yeah. during the game, yeah, I'm about my lines right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, I'll I'll leave it at this too, man. You know, JD Vance, um 2028. Let's see if he if he runs. The the guy the guy is soft spoken. He's to the point. He's uh, where the hell were you, man? That's all I can say. Where the hell were you? But his name's out there now, so Hopefully 2028, we'll see him run. I don't know who would be on the Democratic side, but there's looking at a lot of people, I think our 2028 election, I really feel is going to be really more back in the day. Respect. Both parties are going to be running, you know, great campaigns. And we can finally get out of this whole circus that we're a part of right now. So needless to say, 2028, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that one. But yeah, to close it out, man, J.D. Vance said, we're all family at the end of the day. We're all Americans. We all have a part in our country. So let's take care of it. All right, y'all. It's Sunday. We're about to sign out. But remember, if you have not voted yet, no matter where, where you're going, you know, right or left, it don't, it don't matter no more. Uh, on Tuesday. That's the day I hope all of y'all will take the time to actually exercise who you want to go for. You have the right to do it. So it don't matter if it's this way or if it's that way. Just go ahead and do it. And uh, on that note, y'all have a good Sunday. Enjoy some football.